Hello, everybody, and welcome, welcome to, to Coast, Coast Life. Life. Delmarva and WRDE's newest lifestyle and entertainment show all about the Delmarva Coast. We are your hosts. I'm Paige Marley. I'm Leah Rizzo, and we may not be completely unfamiliar faces to you. You may recognize Paige from the Morning News with Matt Pensick, and you may recognize my voice or my face from 1025 WBOC or WBOC's Delmarva Life with Jimmy, Lisa, and Katie. But our goal with Coast Life is to really focus on Delmarva's coast. From about the Milford area all the way down to Ocean City, there is so much to do, whether it's activities well known to you on the boardwalk, all the games and things to play, all the amazing food to eat all along the boardwalks, or if it's, you know, some more hidden gems and activities that you may not think of, things like paintballing and snow carting. Yep, definitely. We're going to have a lot of action. We're also going to have some relaxation, okay? So we're showing you some great places to get your hair done, maybe get a facial, get your skin right in time for summer. All of that is going to be happening Monday through Friday for one hour, okay? Starting at 4 o'clock, we will be right here bringing you all the best that the Marva Coast has to offer. And of course, you can watch on TV, but I know you have your phone out, okay? So just get it in your hand. Follow these social media accounts right here. They're on your screen. You can also check us out on coastlife.com. And while we're on our socials, we're also usually talking about the things that you are talking about. Like yesterday was Mother's Day. Yes. We love celebrating all the moms, stepmoms, anybody who is taking on the role of mom and motherhood. We see you, we recognize you. Paige, what did you get your mom? I got my mom this little Bluetooth printer. It's just about this big, but it actually connects to her cell phone. So when she takes pictures of all her grandbabies and all, she can just print them right out and give them to people, put them in a scrapbook. That is so cute. Yeah, thank you. I love that. Thank you. What about you? What did you get your mom? So my sister and I brought my mom with us to see the one, the only, <laughs> Taylor Swift on her Eras tour in Philadelphia. Oh, Ooh, still yeah. like riding that high, honestly. <laughs> oh my, okay, first of all, how was it? Amazing. I mean, Taylor really, truly is a one-of-a-kind artist. She has this way of, not only did she play like a four-hour show, but she has this way of talking to a whole stadium's worth of people. Mm -hmm and making it feel like she's just talking to you. It's incredible. A lot of people watching, I know, are gonna be a little jealous. Those tickets were hard to get. A lot of our coworkers are yeah, gonna get I know, I feel so bad. <laughs> so I have to ask so that everyone can see too. What did you wear? Because the outfits to this tour have been incredible. Yes, so if you don't know, part of the big deal of going to the Eras tour mm -hmm. is the outfits, yes. the costumes. I mean, we're talking like Firefly Music Festival level dedication to the outfits. <laughs> so a lot of people went dressed as their favorite album because it's the Eras Tour, so there are different eras of Taylor Swift. And uh, I Went As Midnights, that's her most recent album. Let's I see it. I have it on vinyl. Oh, <laughs> as you can see. I went with that tiered metallic fringe jacket, the mm -hmm. white sparkly jumpsuit, rhinestone tights, the boots. Everything in that outfit I was obsessed with, and if I could live yeah. in it, I would. You should. You should have worn it today. That jacket is amazing. <laughs> Leah, <laughs> that is so cool. Hey, if you went to the Taylor Swift yes. tour as well, though, please send us some of your outfits. Again, those socials, just send them to us. We want to see what you wore to see Taylor Swift. Make the rest of us jealous. Yeah, for those of us who could not go. <laughs> However, after that, I think the only Mother's Day gift I can afford is mm -hmm. the macaroni frame. You know, that's to put the pictures that you got your mom, yes. uh, the Bluetooth pictures in. Perfect. She'll still appreciate it. <laughs> well, that's what we'll be doing here on Coast Life, okay? Like Leah said, talking about what you are talking about, but again, we're really going to dive deep into what makes Coastal Del Marva so unique. And we're going to start doing that today, right now. Yes, because part of that is the people. And one of those people is Drew Tevis, who recently won the Food Network's Holiday Baking Championship. Coast Life's field correspondent, Maya Henry, is in Rehoboth Beach, where it all started. Leah and Paige, this is a spot to launch Drew Tevis into the national spotlight. Blue Coast in Rehoboth Beach. Let's go inside and introduce you to Drew. A churro crunch sundae, maple sugar pie, a peanut butter praline ice cream sandwich. If you dreamt it, Drew can do it. The holiday baking champion is... Fresh off of taking first place in the Food Network's Holiday Baking Championship, Drew sat down with us and dug into his roots. I had always liked to cook, but my parents always said, if you do this as your profession, you're never going to want to do it at home. So um, I was pursuing a degree in film um, and communications. And the summer after graduating, it's like, oh, I want to spend a summer working at the beach. So um, bartending job here in Rehoboth turned into uh, 
found myself in the kitchen because I'd always loved to bake. He turned that love into a living thanks to an eye-opening trip to Italy. It was the first time in my life I'd never had access to a kitchen and I missed cooking so much while I was there and I was around all this great food. So when I got home, I bought um, just a cake cookbook and kind of baked my way through it and fell in love with doing it. Fast forward today, Drew never imagined he'd compete against other bakers on a national level. In school, I've always been the kind of person like, I study for things way ahead, I turn in papers early, I, I'm always on time with things and everything is planned out, every detail is planned out. So the idea of doing a competition where it's basically like one big procrastination, you have no idea what's gonna be on anything, will you perform well under pressure, will you be able to deliver things that taste good, um, I, scariest thing I've ever done. Drew's surrounded by sweetness every day, but he'll tell you one sweet treat takes the top. I love making donuts. I love doing different variations on donuts. Um, it's something I got to do on the show, and so that was pretty cool. And when you're doing a donut as a plate of dessert, you can serve it with other interesting things and get a lot of different textures and things going on. The beauty of Sodell's food is keeping things simple, but elegant. However, Drew likes to get elaborate where he can. Beautiful, simple food is like our motto and what we go for. So. Um, the platings and what I'm asking the cooks to do on the line can't be too elaborate. So where I go elaborate is in the prep and the, all the things that are contained within it. So within this layer cake, it's seven different layers, but that's all they have to do when they're serving it is place it on the like plate. Don't some of those pastries just look amazing? Unreal. And like, you know how sometimes food is pretty, but it doesn't taste good? Mm -hmm. Not the case with Drew. They're no. both pretty and delicious, but that's just really a, a tiny glimpse into what Drew Tevis can do. Mm -hmm. And guess what? What, Leah? <gasps> Drew Tevis is gonna be in the Coast Life studio today, so we get to know a little bit more about him and uh, all that he does, because it's it's a lot. And I'm hoping he brought us some treats, just saying. <laughs> We love our free food. Yes. <laughs> well, of course, we're going to get to that in just a couple of minutes, but also we have a lot to cover today, okay? So take a look at these people right here. Do you recognize them? You may recognize them because you may be one of their five million followers on TikTok. We are catching up with Megan and Jack, who did you know live right here on the Delmarva Coast. And we love our Coast Life community, and part of loving our community is keeping it safe. We will do that with our friends at Seaside, Krav Maga, and Lewis. And beach air, don't care, but you probably should, because that salty beach air it can do some damage. But don't worry, okay? We're gonna get you right. We are heading to the Hobbit Beauty Boutique where they're taking care of our hair and our skin. More Coast Life is on the way. Coast Life is brought to you by BB Healthcare, Coastal Comfort Heating and Air Conditioning, Preston Automotive Group, and Shell Brothers.